welcome back to my channel Pinnacle. In today's video, we are going to learn Magic T and its scattering matrix. The first thing is that what is Magic T? So Magic T is nothing but an E and H plane T junction and is formed by attaching two simple waveguides one is a parallel and other is series to a rectangular waveguide. One is a parallel, one is in series. And this waveguide is already has two ports. So now the resultant waveguide or resultant structure is a E and H plane and it is having four ports. Port 1, port 2, port 3 and port 4. This is also called magic T, hybrid T or 3dB coupler. So this is port 1 and port 2 is a collinear arms and port 3 is a H arm and port 4 is a E arm. If you study the cross section of magic T then this is a cross section. This is port 1 collinear arm port 2 collinear arm, E arm and H arm. Now we want to study the characteristics of E H plane T or magic T. Imagine that two equal magnitude and same phase waves fed into port 1 and port 2. That means port 1 and port 2 those are having input and these are having equal magnitude and phase. That time E arm and H arm what is the output? So E arm output is a 0 and H arm is nothing but a additive. This is a property of H plane T. Second case power is given to 4 port. This is my input. Okay. Then output is equally divided for port 1 and port 2 and power will not appear at port 3. In a third case, if input is at port 4, then equal magnitude but opposite phase, port 1 and port 2, those are having output, equal magnitude but phase are opposite. Output at port 4 is 0. Okay. Last condition, wave is fed to one of the collinear arm. Means either input is a 1 or 2. Then if 1 is output, then 2 is a 0. At port 3, it is a phase delay because it is a E arm. And at H arm, it is causes a phase advance. Means H arm is having a phase advance and E arm is having a phase delay. Similarly, when 2 is a input, we are not getting output at port A. Okay. Similarly, E arm is phase delay of output and H arm is a phase advance at output. Now, we are interested to find the scattering matrix of magic T. So, for magic T, we are having a 4 input and 4 possible outputs. So, the magic T scattering matrix is S11, S12, S13, S14. Similarly, for second port, S21, S22, S23, S24. For third port, S31, S32, S33, S34 and for fourth port, S41, S42, S43 and S44. So this is scattering matrix, generalized scattering matrix for magic T. We already studied the characteristics of magic T that if input 
it as port 3 it produce output of equal magnitude and opposite phase at port 1 and port 2 and output at port 4 is 0 that's why s 4 3 is equal to s 3 4 is equal to output 0 that means s 4 3 and s 3 4 is a 0 that input is a 3 and 4 port 3 4 s 3 4 is a 0 s 4 3 is 0 okay secondly if we fade into one of the collinear arms at port 1 or port 2 it will not appear in the other collinear arm at port 2 or port 1 that means s12 and s21 is zero s12 and s21 is equal to zero because of this our scattering matrix for magic T is become S is equal to S11 0 okay S12 0 S21 0 S22 0 S33 0 S44 0 why because we know that if we are finding the ideal magic T characteristic for ideal any device, there is no back reflection. That's why S11 is 0, S22 is 0, S33 is 0, S44 is 0. Okay. And S13 and S14 is as it is. Then S23, S24 as it is. Now here S31, S32, S33 is 0, S34, then S41, S42, then S43 is 0. So this is equation second. By putting the values of S43, S34, S12, S21. Scattering matrix is commonly used for mixing, duplexing and impedance measurement. In next lecture, we will study the applications of magic tea. Already I have explained E plane T, H plane T, scattering matrix. So if you are interested, please check those videos also. Thank you.